Okay, so first and foremost, the title of this video is a little bit clickbait because this situation wasn't started by Nintendo rather than the Pokemon company, but I fully believe that this is something that Nintendo as the major corporation that they are has instilled in this company that they own a pretty much large if not entire percentage of. I feel like I made it clear in my Pokemon Legends ZA video that I'm a pretty decently sized Pokemon fan. I grew up playing the franchise. It's still my guilty pleasure franchise to this day. I've played the most recent games. I'm planning on still playing the game that we know of coming in the future, but I'm not sure how much longer I can go about supporting a company that hates its fans so much. Pokemon has never really been a fan first franchise. I mean, fans have been talking and screaming about things that they want in games for years in terms of if they were on the competitive side of the game or if they were just for the casual players. It's always been known that the Pokemon company is more than likely just going to ignore us or do the exact opposite of what we want in these games. And it's sad to think about just how far down these games have fallen in terms of quality, in terms of optimization, in terms of even things like story or Pokemon designs or just overall gameplay loop. It, it feels like ever since the 3DS kind of came into the forefront, we got maybe one or two good and actually well-made Pokemon games. Sorry, not getting emotional. I had something <laughs> in my throat. But what does all of this mean? Well, the other day, the Pokemon company sent a cease and desist takedown notice to one of the biggest fan ran websites and forums known as Relic Castle. Relic Castle has been around for almost 10 years, if not 10 years already, and has really been like the forefront for people to share tips and tricks, guides to promote YouTube videos, to talk about fan theories. And one of the biggest aspects of this forums was for people to promote their fan games. If you don't know, it's pretty much been a thing since the dawn of gaming, where if there's a really big franchise that doesn't have sometimes the best game releases or even has a game every year, fans will take it up themselves and just make their own experiences. And it's not a monetization thing. Fan games are like nine out of nine, 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, they're gonna be non-profit. Most people, you know, they know that they can't make money off of it because Nintendo will track them down. They're nickname is the Nintendo Ninjas for a reason. Like they will find you and your entire family. It's kind of scary sometimes to think about. But Relic Castle has been a cornerstone of the diehard Pokemon fandom community for a very long time. And I'd be very surprised if anyone who's been a Pokemon fan for as like as long as I have, or even half as long as I have, who, who at least really loves the franchise, haven't heard of this website. It was that big. It was kind of like our own Reddit in a way. And unfortunately, the owner posted the other day that Relic Castle is going to have to be taken down completely. Not just one aspect of the website has to be removed, which is like maybe they could they could have made it so people can't put links there and maybe that's the best they could have done. No, the Pokemon company wanted them to take down the entire website. And man, we could just add this to the list of things that this company has done to really just ignore what the fans want. This is like, this has to be one of the most out of touched things that I've seen a company do in a long time. And it sucks because you can make a case for the Pokemon company being in the right. They don't want their franchise that they've created, that they make new games pretty much every year that they keep adding to the IP. They don't want people to do whatever they want with it. They don't want fan games to have dark content or mature content like death or sickness or anything to do with Pokemon. They, they don't want it to give 
give their company a bad look and I can somewhat understand this but at the same time it's just so fascinating to me because they do this and this is probably what they tell themselves they tell themselves they're going to take down these fan games because these fan games give Pokemon a bad reputation and then they shit out a yearly release or an a bi-yearly release that is the exact same car copy and pasted stupid stuff from the last game change the dialogue around change the setting add 50 to 100 cute new creatures some cool some weird looking and then package it up and sell it as a brand new experience every single year and if we're going off the most recent games then they add into this by making the games terribly optimized i mean like the most horrific bugs glitches crashes that you can experience in a nintendo game they put that in there with the package and then they also tell you to go fuck yourself and then they give it to you for 60 dollars. and no matter what they're gonna keep doing it like there's really nothing that i mean we we can do as a community to get them to listen because pokemon is the biggest franchise out there people are always going to buy the games this franchise is always going to turn a profit so there's really just not much that we can do because even if you take the newest games scarlet and violet for example the dlcs had optimization and glitching problems the base games still run like horseshit on the switch and it's not even the switch's fault you have games like monster hunter rise you have games like xenoblade chronicles 1 2 and 3 that all run really good on this handheld small little console and for some reason the biggest franchise in the entire world cannot figure it out i think what they really don't realize is without fan games i think that a large portion of the pokemon community would not still be a part of the community if you go back to in between when the sun and moon games came out and the omega ruby alpha sapphire generation i want to say that's 2015 2016 there was a leap year there wasn't a year where we got a pokemon game at all i mean i think all we got in 2016 was pokemon go i want to say it was that year and we didn't get a main mainline game and the youtubers and people who covered pokemon content were struggling because they didn't know what to do until they started playing these fan games now there are so many pokemon driven youtubers who simply survived because of relic castle and because of fan games or covering fan theories that spawned on these forums and then there was even more people who made it part of their identity as a youtuber to just play fan games that all stemmed from Pokemon fan games. This also then just cuts out a huge part of the game development online community because if you don't know, getting into game development is hard. If you don't have connections, if you don't have like a star-studded student project, which most people aren't going to have because it's incredibly hard, this was where a lot of them got their footing, modding games, creating their own things on RPG Maker, uh, all these other like nidbit and little ways that this forum allowed people to get into the game development scene. It was such a good thing that has now just been stripped and people are gonna blame the Pokemon company for it. And I know, I'm, I feel like I'm just talking into the void because no matter what, no one's gonna care. It's gonna be the same bullshit every single year. I'm probably gonna buy the next few Pokemon games anyway and just be upset that I'm buying them because of nostalgia, but also because I wanna cover them and I wanna make videos on them. It's just a frustrating thing that is never really gonna end, that has always been there, is that this company doesn't give a shit about its fans, it doesn't care about the people that are hurt from this, they just care about the revenue. Anyways, I just wanted to get a quick video out about this. I didn't really have anything else to talk about. South Park comes out in about two days. I think I'm gonna put this video up on Monday because uh, I'm gonna, I think I uploaded my Club Penguin video on Sunday. I'm going to be pretty much giving my life over to South Park, so I might go dark for the next week. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Catch all my other ones. Uh, you know, if you want to support me, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.